I got us in a little bit late, so we do just have to immediately focus on the action that is going down. You can see the plan for OG was, of course, just the pretty standard A split, only having one player over towards long, so he go to, he actually does go down straight away without really being able to do too much. But they are still finding success here on short. Overall, I mean, the trades haven't actually gone in favor of FaZe, but they should at least be able to get that bomb plant and have the opportunity to try and get some good control back towards short. The issue is already FaZe, they're pushing up close. They're not letting OG really get themselves into any sort of strong positions for the after plant, and they just clean it up. I didn't even get as it could have been. Yeah, no, not ideal. This round is certainly winnable right now for OG. And the issue is Cold Zero on the bomb site actually does able uh, does manage to get two for himself. But indeed, they do need to get moving forward. That's all of the nades being used now. The final flash being thrown in. Valdez, he's just waiting under that window. Actually, only gets himself one, but unfortunately, really not looking that healthy when it comes to the weapons. That said, Valda in there with a double opening, completely shut down. And I don't know how much he's actually going to be able to do to help them out, so it is going to have to be these players on the bomb site finding success, and so far that's just not the case. That final player in towards Gandalf being Nico hasn't been spotted yet somehow. Phase, giving OG a, a little bit of weight. They, they have to do well here on Dust2. If they lose this, they pretty much... Ooh. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. The, the way the VO's gone down, I don't think it's really looking too great for OG. This is definitely a necessity for them to pick up. That wasn't looking too bad initially when Brokey did get himself that one kill, but with the short control over in favor of OG right now, obviously a positive being phased. Do still have that long control with quite a few players to move forward. And yeah, right now OG trying to stick around and actually take these fights. Not a single one having gone in their favor up until Mantu is able to pick one off. But even then, he's not able to get anything... Ooh, great timing on that flash as well. That's actually the bomb that... You want to be taking the B bomb site. It's about to fade, and there's Cold Zero's opportunity with the AWP. He pops up. Oh, but he doesn't hit the shot. Now things get a little bit dangerous. He's stuck behind the box. Doesn't want to go for the peak. Knows the op is around there, but as they leave Mantu all... Well, they, at least they'd have a much better chance of it. But now they're going to have to raw push out there. No flashes right into the Krieg, through a smoke, and that's not going too well for them. One kill extra found, but it's all on Mantu now. Extra smoke. Some of the teammates as well that went in for Deagles get the... Died. For now, though, OG back on their buy, and it is actually some early aggression over towards... Work flashes going up behind him as well. He snuck in the back through the smoke, and good night and sweet dreams to OG's round. Three kills for Brokey. And he's even looking for the fourth. The Molly in deep, so the push can't come through. They know they've got the bomb on one at a time as well. Also has to be commanded... I would say... Otherwise, it wouldn't be the, the happiest of rounds for them. But so far, doing a pretty good job. I mean, this player in the pitch was crossfire and the smoke going down, making it a little bit harder. It did force Rain forward into actually taking that fight there so he could help him out, but still manages to stay alive. In the end, it's out from short, and I don't think Coulter immediately spotted the head. Yeah, it took a moment, but he can kind of come up through the spawn itself. But no, okay, trying to go around the smoke initially. Rain just gets aggressive, catches two of them. Mantu trying to see if he can follow this up and get the trade frag, but that's not going to be successful. And Nico, in the meantime, helping up here with so many flashes. They'll look to push forward, and the sprays that can now come down from cold are much more threatening than if he had the AWP. We've already seen him take one, and the whole team's here to help out already. That round was uh, doomed from the start, pretty much. He said for phase, but look at this. Cold Zira was able to make his way out through the mid doors. They get in here with just three on the bomb side. Small advantage, I guess. Smokes on the cross. Rain's happy to spam on through. There's still a player up on the bomb as Olaf looks to take them from above. He's going to catch one, two on the spray. And that should pretty much be the end of this round unless Mantu has managed to figure out how to get this op to be fully automatic. Yeah, I don't think that's legal. But as the previous round as well. It's it. He does try and check it, but not going to be any success. Not going to be any, any success. Mm, it's not a round we expect OG to perform in, so you can give them at least a little bit of slack there. Colts again pushed under. Surely that's not going to continue the nade. Luckily, bounce just right to not take down Alexi, but sadly, the Kree came through right after. Seen Rain find success from before. Three players, or rather, four players moving forward in the beginning. The bomb planted at least, but lose a round with. As they move forward, Brokey. Oh, he spots the head of Issa, and that's a free kill for him. Mantu out with the trade, though. In comes Nico eventually, but he's not even needed. Olaf with a quick headshot to Mantu swings for the bomb. They've spotted out Valda, and good luck stopping them now because he can safely defuse that behind the box. And Valda just runs away, accepts defeat. They're low, though. They've only got one left on Mantu as they look to make a push happen. And it goes in through CT. The fade through by Nico. He wants to get aggressive with the AWP. That's dangerous. He gets one, and somehow he's out of there. He's still alive, ready to pop a flash through. How's he gotten away with that? Yeah, I, I don't know. He's even thrown in that flash for Brokey. He finds himself a double, gets help from Cold Zero, MBK. So if they can get that one kill towards the car, even just a one-for-one one trade, it gives them a good bit of time to get that bomb down.
And they do also have a molly and a couple flashes on top of that initial smoke that's thrown down towards the CT spawn. Mantu's in danger. Rain is up close already. Swings out on the flash. Beautifully done by Nico. And the turnaround. Rain with a second. Alexi B faded through the smoke and got the first shot off, but not connecting it. Issa somehow through the smoke eliminates him eventually. And that's a very valuable kill for OG. Now into a 3v3 on the retake. Coming through short, though, a lot of danger awaits MBK. Two players here, and they swing up and swing him out of the game. A 2v3 now, OG. Edging up through long, they're going to move together. Issa's got the kit. He's managed to recover that from down in CT. But Cold Zera is very cold in those kills. I'm willing at this point to just go ahead and concede and be happy with the, the two-for-one trade that they've been able to find. They're in a pretty decent spot now, considering how it started. Unfortunately, obviously, the weapon's not being retrievable. It's the major downside for them at the moment. But still, the man advantage on these kind of pistol rounds. Uh, they've stacked up towards B. Two players there, one in mid. So Issa is in a lot of danger as they start to move up through short and long. Valda might get a good flank in on them, though. He's tucked in at the doors. And as the utility is being thrown here by Nico, who had a spare smoke below him, this might actually cause a couple of problems. With the two smokes, it gives away that two of them are in middle as they are. Valda's waiting though. This is these smokes have made him believe they're going to push through doors and he'll catch them off guard. But instead, it's a hit towards the bomb site. The B player is pushing. Short's going to be compromised in just a couple of seconds. The CT's coming up behind. FaZe have to rush into the site very quickly. They have no idea. The pistol's up behind, taking one kill at least. Nico on the bomb site. He rushed in, but he couldn't find Issa. And as he goes down, Cold Zera is now in a 1v3. AK's picked up, but dropped just as quickly. As Issa falls and Amali goes down, there's 14 seconds. Cold Zera needs to make a move. Sees a Alexi B swinging out wide, but this should be it. Tucked in the corner, Alexi B is safe. And the bomb irretrievable, no time left. Cold Zara. Okay, he finds one kill at least, but MBK is bailing. He knows that they've already won. Alexi B gives away his position. Now they swing on him as he gets another piece of utility in his hand, and he falls. Now smoke down on cross, and they're going to go up. MBK and Issa holding down are in a lot of trouble, or so they think, but FaZe. They start to switch up the play. Valda on a push on top mid. Might catch them off guard. Cold Zara's watching it, but the timing is good. And Valda's got a bit of a flank if he reads this to be a short play, which, as the B players spot out no one's here, he should do. Yeah, almost getting caught by Olaf. Olaf started running, though, obviously not really being aware of the fact that there was going to be a player uh, coming up through shorts. So he ends up kind of having to shy away at this point. Puts him in a bit of an awkward spot where he's left rotating around through the entire map to be able to try and help out. But his teammates have gotten the bomb, uh, bomb plant in the meantime. They've been able to trade this out pretty successfully as well. The issue is now the bomb site itself beginning the fall towards the control of OG. Coulter had a chance, actually. Got himself the second there before going down. But at this point, yeah, there's not really a lot that Olaf can do. One, I guess, positive being is that there's no kit right now. So it is a full 10 second defuse that's needed, but Mantu hits. Get around for a reverse sweep is very low. They need to avoid losing players here to build up money. They're doing so successfully. Brokey didn't want to commit towards that fight. And sadly, that means that they won't be getting a kill on long. With Olaf Meister having to do it all with a deagle in hand. No bomb either, as that was sent with the four players up through long. Now dropped in the doors and the CTs are on the rotate through to pick it up and lock it down. They don't even need to though, because Starting to push forward, flashes over, decent spray as Brokey's taken down. Alexi B though, he's shut down right afterwards and losing the bomb site. if Issa falls. He hasn't been spotted in the back just yet, but then, as I say that, Olaf swings out wide. Ferrari peeks him and takes him down. And a 2v4, the nade not landing enough damage to Olaf. The bomb uncontestedly going down. MBK tries to push through, doesn't see rain close, and that round is pretty much tied up as it is. Even the flank now coming through from Cold Zero to make sure no save is possible. Hey, Mansu, nice up. Oh, nice, nice Krieg spray, mate. Cold's missing that one a little bit. Luckily, his buddy's coming to help him in CT. They could lose some weapons for that whiff, though. Zara to push on through, but there's a player to his right that he doesn't see, and as Alexi B takes that frag, it's a two versus five. Not the easiest of rounds to win, and with Brokey alone on the AWP, it's quite unlikely. 45 seconds as he moves forward. Not quick. The top of mid, so he is just trying to save. It really was the only option with how low the time was also. Fortunately, I don't think he'll get hunted. As I said, I do see one player's up close on the tunnels. Not sure how quickly he was going to start actually putting that down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they do get it in the end. You, you could see maybe OG were hoping like, okay, guys, is, are they maybe not going to be able to plant that? Because they were already decided on saving at that point. Okay. Valda just chilling in the spawn. Does find Cold Zero trying to run past them. Ends up getting the kill on Brokey as well. That's the op now that's gone down. And really, FaZe don't... There could be someone holding as well. Yeah, I think they're just going to go into the corner here at the car trying to just stay alive at this point. The op, unfortunately, as I said, not going to be recovered with that. So, yeah, I mean, 
I mean, we know he turns up on Nuke. It's it's worrying for me. Isis managed to find one here. Good rotate early by Alexi B coming down to catch them off, but he's not able to find more, and B falls. I don't know if they'll have a read on MBK's position, though, although he's generally one of the players anchoring. B, he's able to do so much damage with the SMG. Valda can actually get in a whole diff uh, holistically different round coming through. Valda spotted a player on his left. He suspects back as well, but not hitting either of the shots. That's six.